hello guys welcome back so in this section we are going to start work on the account settings so go to the tab screens where we have our user details screen dot dot and now what we can do is first we will implement a method where we will retrieve the user information from the database so for that purpose here above the widget built we can implement a method which we will give it name as retrieve user information or you can say retrieve user info so we can write a query up to our firebase firestore dot instance dot collection so the collection name you already know it is by the name users and then dot document that is which user information which user account settings or you can say which user account information we are uh, going to display so that user id we have to provide here so that is something that we will receive inside this user detail screen as a parameter so let's just receive it here that is we will pass to this okay which is receiving here whenever we want to uh, display the screen we have to pass this user ID to it so we will give it name as uh, user ID and then remove this const from it after the super dot key we can say this dot user ID so we have to pass this user id whenever we want to display this user detail screen okay so in the constructor we are we have to receive it like this by the same key we have to pass okay so anyways when we will call the screen you will understand it so for now what we need to do is we can say widget dot user id dot get dot then and we have to make this method asynchronous which simply means that we have to wait for the response from the first or database that is we need to first get this data then the rest of the code will, it will execute once we get the user data so anyways now what we can do is let's give it name as snapshot and first we will check either this user data exists in the database or not so we can simply say snapshot dot exist so if it exists simply get the data and assign it to the required variables so for that purpose here uh, inside our user detail screen state above this method here we will initialize the variables for example for the personal info we have name age phone city country profile heading and looking for in a partner then we have the appearance which is height weight and body type and then after it we have the lifestyle where we have all this information i mean these variables and by the same key name we have the information in the database and then lastly we have the background and culture values which is nationality education language religion ethnicity and after this we have the slider images so we initialize url image 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay these variables for it now we will give it uh, some default values because at the start when the user create a brand new account when the user sign up for the first time the user has not set the images for the slider so we will give it some default value which will be the avatar the image this avatar which is profile avatar okay so if the user has not uploaded or set his or her uh, slider images then we will display this you can say okay instead of that that is when there is no images available for the slider then the default one will be this one so we will display this default image for that so go to your project folder and inside the images just copy uh, this profile editor okay we have to basically upload it 
inside the uh, Firebase storage to get the image link okay so I will just copy it copy it and move it to the desktop okay so that we can easily upload it and then go to your Firebase console your Firebase project which is dating gap and simply go to the storage and inside the storage uh, I'm going to create a new folder and I will give it them as a placeholder as we are using that default image as a placeholder okay so I give it name as placeholder which is this folder now double click on it now inside this we are going to upload so click on this upload file and on my desktop I have profile editor so I will just open so it is now uploading so as it is uploaded you can click on that profile editor okay and here when you click on this file location and you hover your mouse here on the storage location you will see this one access token okay when you hover your mouse here on the access token you will see click to download click to copy download URL with token and that is something which we need so just click here and it copied the download URL and that's it now you can go back to your project and in here we have to paste that URL inside the double quotes okay inside here as well inside here as well and here as well as I told you this is just in the start let's say if the user has not yet uploaded any slider image of course which is something which you will implement so instead of displaying empty slider we will display this placeholder at that time so anyways now let's just quickly complete our retrieve user info as we have already retrieved the user information next thing is just to assign the data to over these variables so first we will check if the important thing we have to check is basically the URL images that is the slider images so we can say snapshot dot data and what we are going to check we are going to check that is in the database if the slider image exists okay so we will say that if it not equals to null only in that case we have to get the first slider image then the second one third fourth and fifth one okay if it not equals to null which simply means that if the slider images exist in the database so what we can say we can say snapshot dot data URL image one we get that image and we will assign it to the required variable which is URL image one please use the same variable name and key name because by the same key name we will save it in the database okay so please use the same key names similarly copy paste this four times further so we have now the second one then the third one then the fourth one and then the fifth one so what it means this if condition will execute only if the slider image exists okay if it exists then it will get this images from the database otherwise if it do not exist if it become equals to null it simply means the slider images do not exist in the database so it will skip this if statement and already you know that these URL variables has its own default image placeholder okay it has its own placeholder image URL you already know that profile editor we are using as a default image in the case if the URL image do not exist in the database okay now we are going to get the personal info appearance lifestyle and all these values one more important thing you have to do is cut this control X and inside the set stat you have to do that okay just like this and then after the if statement you can add another set stat and first now to the name variable we will assign the uh, value which is coming from the database for the name so we can say as you know it is saved inside the database by the same key name 
name okay you have to provide the same key names for example as you can see name this and for the income the key name is income height image profile and so on okay so anyways this is our first one let's do it for the other one So we get all data for the background cultures and we assign it to their required variable. Similarly for the lifestyle, similarly for the appearance and similarly for the personal info. So now as we have the information, we have to call this method. Where we will call it? We will call this inside the init state. And now let's just start displaying it on the user interface. So we can say body single child scroll view child padding padding will be from all sides 30 child column widget and first of all we will display the image slider 